Hello everyone, my name is Anishka Goyal and today we are going to discuss about the shear force in a beam apparatus. Its order code is 2324-6974.1. In this video, we are going to measure the shear force variations under various loading conditions. So let's start with our experiments. So this is the shear force in beam apparatus. The basic purpose of this experiment is to measure the shear force variation according to the increasing load points. So, this apparatus consists of beam which is represented at load cell. So, here we have two type of load cells which we are using in this apparatus. Here, the one load cell is fixed with this section which is remaining as the supported section and it cannot be moved. And the second load cell is placed on this cut section which can be moved or rotated. So, here you can see that the cut section you can move it, you can move it, but you can, can't move this supported section because it is fixed and the load cell which is placed on this cut section is responsible to measure the force at this point due to loading condition because we have to apply the different type of loads on these sections and to measure the force according to the loads which we have applied. So here we have three different type of loads which is going to be along with this kit. So you can also use the hanger type of load for measuring the force but here we can use this plate type of loads. So according to the weight of these loads, we can differentiate the force which will be measured by applying these loads. So, so this is our control unit which can show the force which is measured by, by applying the load on these load cells. So here we have these five buttons. By using these buttons, you can take the readings or you can take the you can set the reading. So from set button you can set it and from F1, F2 and F3. So I will tell the functions of the F1, F2 and F3 when we perform the experiments and how we can take the readings of force. And the connections of this control unit is that here we have two connections. One for cut section and one for supported section. So I told you the two sections in the main apparatus. So I told you this is the supported section. So this is the lead of the supported section. You can connect it with this control unit and similarly you can connect the cut section also from the control unit. So I told you this is the supported section. So from this lead you can connect it with to, to the control unit and this is the cut section. From here also you can connect it with to the control unit. So these two leads which can be connected with this control unit, cut section and the supported section. So after connecting these two, cut section and the supported section, from it you can supply it from power supply and from here also you can connect it with the interface with the computer and the and the reading which will you get from this control unit also you can get it from computer as well. Then you will connect it to the computer. So this is the basic control unit section. In this two connections are there, cut and supported sections are there, power supply and the interface of the computer. And here are five buttons are there which can control it and you can take the reading of force. And this is the basic component of this apparatus. There, how you can apply the load. So this is the load here. By this, you can place it load in between these sections. So by placing it and you can take the reading from this control unit. So let's start our experiment. Now we will perform the experiment by connecting this main apparatus to the control unit by connecting the leads. So this is the control unit. First we have to give in the power supply to this control unit. So we will give the power supply. Now here you can see that the light will be shown to you. Now I am connecting the both supported and the cut section from this control unit. So here you can see that this is written in this section 2B and 1B. So according to that we have to connect it. So 2B is the section of the cut section. So I am connecting cut section from it to the part. So this is the lead of connecting cut section. 
well connected. Now we have connected this cut section to this control unit. Similarly, we have to connect the supported section also. Now by doing this, we have connected the supported section also. So we have done the connections of control unit. Now we will take the readings. So now I am telling the functions of these button. So every button is used basically to changing the units. So here you can see that the Newton unit will be shown to you. So when I am pressing the F3 button, it will change to ground section. And I am again press F3, then it will change to Newton section. So F3 button is used to changing the units. So if you take want to take the readings from in Newton, then you can take the readings in Newton and if you want to take the readings in gram then by pressing F3 you can take the reading from a gram. Now we will move the function of F1 button and F2 button. So set the load cell values to 0 initially on the panel by long pressing F1 and F2 for 3 seconds one by one for reducing the error. So we have to press the F1 button for some time and then remove it. So here you can see that the value of first is decreasing to 0 and similarly it will do for F2 so it will press for some time and leave it then you can see that the value is going on decreasing and decreasing and it will stop to 0. So firstly we have to set the load cell initially 0 on the panel. So here you can see that both the first reading will shown to the cut section reading and the second one is the supported section reading. So both will be reached to the zero position. Now we will perform the experiment by placing the load into the load cell. So I am using this load, this load here, I am placing it in the load cell. So here we will place the load like this and take the reading of force on control unit. So I have placed the load on this load cell. Now we will see that what is the reading of force which will be measured by the control unit. So here you can see that from previous value it will show it will show to the 0 and now it will increase to the 2.8 and the second one is the 0.9 or the 1.0. The first reading will show to the cut section reading and the second one is the supported section reading. So according to this by varying the load we can change the value of the force as well. So from different loads we can take the reading of different type of forces. We can take the reading of different values of forces and plot the graph. Similarly, now we will replace another load and we will see that the change occurs in the force. Now I am replacing this force with the another, with the previous force. So I am removing this previous force load and I am placing this load. Now you will see that the changes will occur in the force. Here you can see that the readings will be changed. So whenever the loads we are changed then the readings of the force which will measure by applying the loads will also be changed. So according to that by applying the different type of loads on the load cell we can measure the different forces according to the load by this control unit. So this is the practically force which will be measured by this control unit. It can also be calculated by the theoretical force. It will also be mentioned in the manual which is given to you along with this kit. In this the experiment procedure step by step are mentioned. So you can take the reference for your help. And from it, from there you can find also the theoretical force. And this is the practical force. 
So that's all the demonstration from my side. If you have any query related to this kit, you can contact to Tesla Technologies. For more information, you can go through the manual also. You can find the link in the description box of our website. So from there, you can visit it for other related these products. And thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, like it, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.